Uh, hi, I'm Jack Richardson, uh, owner of Guardian Tree Experts. We're a tree care company here in Ann Arbor. And uh, this is my colleague, Chris Adler. Hi. Um, so we're going to take a look at climbing a tree today. Um, as arborists, uh, we're forced to do this quite often. And um, so we're going to go through the process of how we get into a tree safely, move around in a tree, uh, simulate working conditions, and, and then how we come down. Yeah, maybe we'll just try this one. Yeah, why don't I'm I? Happy to do that. When removing trees, you know, people have seen the spikes on the on the feet, you know, that loggers wear, and, and when we take trees down, we wear spikes because it, it is easier to move around. Um, when pruning trees that are going to stay in the landscape, uh, spikes hurt the tree, so we can't climb with them. So we have to find another way to get into the tree, um, and that's what this is: this throw line. And I'm going to open this up here, take a look. But inside this cube is a weighted pouch that's about 12 ounces and it's on a string. And we can throw this up to about 90, 90 feet in the air. Um, and basically we try to get it over a limb that's strong enough, drop it down to the ground, and then we can tie our climbing line on and pull that up. And that's what we'll ascend on is our climbing line. Um, it can be really frustrating. Some days you're, you're on, other days it's getting hung up everywhere. So. Uh, it's kind of a daily, daily challenge, but uh, we'll go ahead and try to set something up in this walnut here. Oh. Yeah, so you want to edit that one out. Heads up. Uh, we have to look for hazards in the tree. Uh, widow makers, sometimes it'll be large limbs that are that are stuck up there. We don't want to climb up and get hit by something like that. Bees are another big issue. Raccoons and squirrels. So what we're going to be climbing here is a walnut, a black walnut. And um, you know some of the things we need to look for before we actually climb a tree is, is it safe to climb? Are there any defects, uh, uh, splits, or decay? Uh, we want to make sure we're not tied into any of those places. Isolated over a limb. We can clip our climbing line into it. This is, um, what is this? <laughs> is it lava? Um, anyways, 24 strand Kern mantle rope. So um, everything that we climb with in our system has to be rated over 5,000 pounds. Um, and again, you know, I'm 185, so I'm never gonna really generate that much force. But, uh, so this, this line is rated about 5,400 pounds. So we've, we've installed our line and it's away from the trunk, which means we can't use our bodies at all to, to get up, uh, you know, walking up the trunk or anything like that. So in this particular situation, we're going to have to foot lock and we'll go ahead and show you how that works. This can sometimes be the most difficult part of the day is putting the saddle on without falling over. It's a very therapeutic thing to do, especially for me. Uh, when life gets kind of hectic and crazy, it's really nice to just disappear into a tree for a little while, climb around there. You're so focused on what you're doing before you know it, you know, your day's over.